Do you have a Focus Odin 5 and use a PTFE tube to guide your filament in here, say with a filament dryer or dry box on the side and want to keep it a little bit stable there? Well, here's a couple parts that might just work as an option to support that tube for you. Let me show you how they work. All right, so on all my printers, I do not hang filament up uh, above and all of that. I like to uh, have dry boxes on the side and just not pleased with the filament, just sort of hanging over here and whatever, scraping and things like that. So I like to uh, kind of use a PTFE as a filament guide, reverse Bowden type arrangement here to guide the filament down into the extruder and just want a little bit of stability there to keep this um, set. So that was one of my design ideas here. Um, and I don't want to firmly mounted because I just want a little bit of play if uh, retractions get extreme or something. I want that tube to be able to move and be able to pull it out a little bit to be able to uh, feed the filament in sort of by hand there. So that was my design. Um, parameters there and also I wanted something that would print without supports so I came up with two two different models here this is I call it style A and this is style B let me show that first because there's no mods uh, real work uh, required on here we've got cutouts here for slipping over these um, bolts holding the carriage here on the x-axis and I need a little cutout for that screw there so this just slides on there and it's not especially tight. I wanted it to kind of have enough, uh, um, printed it without support so you can uh, see the bridging under there is not great. So I gave maybe a little bit uh, bigger size on there. I'm probably gonna work on a style that maybe clips up over this. I just haven't gotten there yet. So, but uh, I found this holds it really well enough that once you load the filament in there and uh, just slip that tube on there. It uh, tends to keep it uh, keep it from really moving around if that's your your choice there and you could probably take your own thing put a design something on there. Um, I really prefer this um, style here. Um, and I actually have another one with the screw in. So what you have to do is first take out this uh, screw holding the fan shroud on there. And again, this is, I call it style A. So this is, I believe, a three millimeter M3 screw and replace it with an eight millimeter. And so I find this uses a little bit less material. Once you tighten that on there, it holds pretty, uh, pretty snugly. It has a little bit of a play in case uh, you don't have it quite lined up there. And uh, again, just holds that tube in there. As the head is moving around to uh, just give it a little bit of support there to hold it on. So that is style A. We got the style B that uh, just slips over those things and hopefully I'll be working on a style C that goes all over here to maybe make it a little bit even more stable. So that's what I came up with. Hope it is helpful. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Happy printing.